So for today, we are going to be reading a book. Now, friends, it's very important that you pay attention to the story because at the end of the story, I'm going to ask you to draw something that you remember from the story. Okay, friends? Now, the name of our book is Tortillas and Lullabies. Tortillas y Cancioncitas. <gasps> friends, what did I just do right now? Yes, I spoke in Spanish. Now friends, this book is both in English and Spanish, okay? And this is perfect because we have friends who only speak Spanish and don't understand English. And then we have friends who speak only English and they might not understand Spanish. So it's very important friends to always, always be kind to each other. We are all friends, so we all have to be accepting of each other. Okay, friends? Now, this book is going to give you an opportunity to maybe learn a little bit of English or maybe learn a little bit of Spanish, okay? Now, let's start. Tortillas and Lullabies. Tortillas y Cancioncitas by Lynn Reeser and pictures by Corazones Valientes. Now, friends, if you look at the cover, what do you see? Based on what you see, what do you think the story is going to be about, friends? Okay, think about it and let's start reading, okay? One. Uno. So one is in English. Uno is in Spanish. One is in English. Y uno es en Español. So let's say it together, friends, okay? One. Uno. Tortillas. Tortillas. My great grandmother made tortillas for my grandmother. Mi bisabuela hacía tortillas para mi abuela. So, friends, grandmother is abuela in Spanish. Abuela se dice grandmother in English. So, now let's say it together. Grandmother. Abuela. Good job. My grandmother made tortillas for my mother. Mi abuela hacía tortillas para mi mamá. Now, mother, mamá. Mother in English, mamá in Spanish. Mamá en español, mother in English. Let's say it together, friends. Mother, mamá. Good job. My mother made tortillas for me. Mi mamá hacía tortillas para mí. Do you see them making the tortillas? It looks very yum. And I made tortillas for my doll. Y yo hacía tortillas para mi muñeca. Now, what do we see here, friends? Do you see the doll? Yes, it's right in here, and she's making tortillas for her doll. Every time it was the same, but a little different. Cada vez era lo mismo, pero diferente. Now, we're going to go to chapter two. So, two, dos. Say it together, friends. Two, dos. Good job. Flowers. Flores. Now, friends, flowers in English, flores in Spanish. Flores in Espanol, flowers in English. Now look at this, all oh, these pretty flowers, friends. My grandmother gathered flowers for my great grandmother. Mi abuela recogía flores para mi bisabuela. My mother gathered flowers for my grandmother. Mi mamá recogía flores para mi abuela. Now remember, mother is mama. Mama is mother. You see? Look at how pretty it is. They have chickens and they have flowers. I gather flowers for my mother. Yo recogía flores para mi mamá. And my doll gathered flowers for me. Y mi muñeca recogía flores para mí. Oh, look how fun. 
every time it was the same, but different. Cada vez era lo mismo, pero diferente. Do you see all of them gathering their flowers, friends? Okay. Well, now we are on to three. Tres. Three is in English. Tres is in Spanish. Tres in Español. Three in English. Now let's say it together, friends. Three, tres. Washing. Lavado. My great grandmother washed a dress for my grandmother. Mi bisabuela lavaba un vestido para mi abuela. Now, dress, vestido. Dress is in English, vestido is in Spanish. Vestido es en español, y se dice dress in English. My grandmother washed a dress for my mother. Mi abuela lavaba un vestido para mi mamá. Do you see them washing the clothes together, friends? My mother washed a dress for me. Mi mamá lavaba un vestido para mí. And I washed a dress for my doll. Y yo lavaba un vestido para mi muñeca. Every time it was the same, but different. Cada vez era lo mismo, pero diferente. Do you see them all with their clean clothes? Okay. Four. Cuatro. Four is in English. Cuatro is in Spanish. Cuatro en Español. Y four in English. Lullabies. Cancioncitas. Look at this pretty picture. It's a really nice night sky with the full moon. My great grandmother sang a lullaby to my grandmother. Mi bisabuela le cantaba unas cancioncitas a mi abuela. Now, lullaby, cancioncita. Lullaby in English, cancioncita in Spanish. Cancioncita en español, lullaby in English. My grandmother sang a lullaby to my mother. Mi abuela le cantaba una cancioncita a mi mamá. Do you see them? They're together here singing. My mother sang a lullaby to me. Mi mamá me cantaba una cancioncita a mí. And I sang a lullaby to my doll. Y yo le cantaba una cancioncita a mi muñeca. Do you see both of them with the doll in here? And every time it was the same, y cada vez fue lo mismo. Look at them, they're all sleeping, friends. Now we're done with the book, friends. So remember, at the beginning of the book, I asked you to pay attention, right? Because we are going to be drawing something that we remember from the story, okay? So let's take a couple minutes and let's think about what you remember the most. Okay, friends, so this is what I remembered the most. I remember they all picking flowers for each other. Now, please show me what you remember the most, friends. I would love to see your drawings. But remember, you always need to write your name, friends, okay? So draw what you remember and then write your name and then show it to me, okay? I would love to see it. Thank you, friends, and I'll see you next time. Bye.